to Gardening in South Florida. My name is Adrian Hunsberger. I work for the University of Florida Miami-Dade County Extension Office. And today I wanted to show you how to seed your garden as well as how to transplant vegetables into your raised bed vegetable garden. We're still in the winter. Uh, you can tell because I'm wearing my long sleeve shirt. And last episode, I showed you how to build a raised bed garden. And today we're gonna work on how to take care of your garden as well as seeding and transplanting. I just want to let you know that with the University of Florida we have lots of fact sheets online both on the main University of Florida website as well as on the Miami-Dade County Extension website and we talk about what to plant, when, and as well as how to build a raised bed garden. So right now I'm going to show you because I have a little empty spot in my garden that I'm going to start planting some seeds. So I'm going to first show you how to plant large seeds like beans because that's really easy and these are bush beans that I'm going to be planting right now and you can see that the seeds are quite large and these are the easiest for uh, most people to plant because they are such large seeds and also with children it's always good to get the children out in the garden and learning how to garden. Now. The first thing I have to figure out is how many seeds am I going to plant in this one little area? And on the back of your seed packet, you've got some really good information. It talks about how far apart to space them. I'm not gonna be planting in rows, so all I care about is the space in between each plant. And in, in this little square garden, in this square foot, I can put five bush bean plants. So I'm gonna take out five beans, and I'm going to make sure that they all look healthy. I've got one that has some damage, so I'm going to get rid of that one and get a, a better one. And um, the other critical information that you need, is on the, again, on the back of your seed packet, is how deep to plant those seeds. It's really important to get this correct. It's okay if you mess up with your spacing, but as far as depth, it's really critical because if you plant it too deeply, those seeds start to germinate and they rot before they come to the surface of the soil. If they're planted too shallow, they might not uh, survive the germination process. So pay attention to what it says on the back of the bean packet. Now, the rule of thumb is, if you just had some seeds and you didn't have the information on the packet, is you don't want to plant that seed any deeper than twice the thickness of that seed. So you can see that I can probably plant the bean seeds down about uh, half an inch or a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make five very shallow holes with my finger and I'm just going to put one seed per hole. You don't need to put more than one seed because the germina germination rate of most seeds is about 100%. So why plant twice as many seeds than you really need? Because all you need, to, then you'd have to come back and remove half of those little seedlings once they come up. So I'm just going to cover up the hole. And then I'm gonna gently water them. And that's really all there is to it. seeds and with seeds that are really small that can be a little bit trickier so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour some of the seeds that I'm going to be planting in my garden in my hand so I can kind of gauge how, how many seeds I'm going to be planting so you can see carrot seeds aren't terribly tiny but they're pretty small and instead of making a whole bunch of small holes to plant each seed, it's a lot easier if you just simply sprinkle them very lightly on the soil surface. And you can see in this one square foot, I can plant quite a few carrot seeds. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my compost potting soil and I'm going to just sprinkle it on top of the seeds so that they are covered, but not very deeply at all. 
And then what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna lightly press them in, not real hard, just very lightly. That's enough to get the seeds completely covered. Before I forget, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna make a label to remind me which day I planted my seeds and then what variety I planted in my garden. So I'm just taking a popsicle stick. Uh, I already wrote down the information and I'm just gonna put it here so that I can remember in a few weeks what I planted and when I can be ready to harvest it. So the next step is we need to water those seeds. And I'm gonna use a very gentle method. Um, if you used your hose, it would be too hard. It would actually uh, wash the seeds away. So with my watering can, I'm just lightly watering the soil. You can also use your hose if you set it on a, on a mist. Okay? So when you first plant seeds in your garden, you're going to be watering them maybe once or twice a day because especially with those carrots, the seeds are really close to the soil surface and you don't want that soil surface to dry out. But you don't want it to be really muddy wet, but you want to have it moist. As those plants start germinating and growing, then you need to water less often. For instance, the rest of my garden, I'm watering maybe once or twice a week because we haven't had a whole lot of rain. If we get rain, then I probably don't need to be watering quite as often. The next thing I wanted to show you is how to transplant plants into your garden. And I'm going to show you this little tomato. And notice that I'm picking it up by its leaves. I'm not picking it up by the stem, because if I did that, I could accidentally crush the stem and then probably kill that little seedling. If I just very carefully pick it up by the leaves, that's going to be a much safer way of handling that tomato plant. So what I want to do is I'm just going to make a shallow hole and then I'm going to plant it. Now here in South Florida, the sun can be rather intense and to help uh, your new plants get off to a really good start, what I'll do is I'll take an old palmetto leaf or a palm leaf and I'm going to put it on the south side of my plants so that they're in shade for part of the day and once the plants after about maybe a week, um, they've really started to establish in the soil, I can take that leaf away. This is an old farmer's trick that was used by our pioneer ancestors here in South Florida. So that's what I'm gonna to do today is I'm gonna finish harvesting my radishes. I've got bush beans over here that are flowering. So I'm gonna start harvesting uh, bush beans in a couple weeks when the pods are ready. And my pole beans haven't started to flower yet, but they will be soon. So this is Gardening in South Florida. I'm Adrian Hunsberger with the University of Florida Miami-Dade County Extension and happy gardening.